And Vice President Yibio Shibajo has charged the elite to rise above religious and ethnic leanings and instead imbibe the culture of sacrifice for country needed for Nigeria to attain the great destiny God has in store. He also restated his confidence that Nigeria would remain united despite the diverse opinions of its citizens. Oshibaja made these remarks at the launch uh, to mark Idel Adha at the presidential villa where he represented President Muhammad Buhari, State House correspondent Maria Alashe in the Hasmo. It is a season of sacrifice and Muslims celebrate Idel Adha to commemorate Prophet Ibrahim's total submission to Allah, exemplified in his readiness to sacrifice his only son. Vice President Yemi Oshibajo represents President Muhammad Buhari at this year's Eid al Adha lunch and implores Muslims and Christians here to celebrate with their Muslim brethren to use this occasion to reflect on the need for total submission and sacrifice to the will of God. Citing Abraham as an example of a man imbued with such attributes in character that enabled him to make the great sacrifice, Hoshiba just said Nigerians must imbibe in their characters the willingness to make sacrifices to assist one another. We must focus our time, our energies, and our resources on being that great nation that God has called us to be. This lunch is after is a demonstration of what God wants to see us do. To eat together, live together, work together, and work through that nation, build that nation that God had in mind from the very beginning. Oshibajo insists is one of those convinced that God has plans for this black nation, filled with creative and prosperous women and men, which is why Nigeria must remain united. Everybody knows that you cannot have birth without noise. No woman delivers a baby without some noise and without some pain. What we're hearing, what we're hearing today are the noises and the pains of that great nation that God is about to give birth to. What we are doing is to ensure that we sustain peace and development in this country. Particularly, without peace, there will be no development. And without development, there will be no peace. President Muhammadu Buhari was not present at this occasion, having decided to celebrate Salah in his hometown, Dara. But the message for guests to take home from the event is the president's unflinching stand that Nigeria's unity is not negotiable and its citizens should endeavor to live together as one. Maria Olashendi, TVC News, Abuja.